Special thanks to Athletic Greens, the ultimate all-in-one nutritional supplement for supporting this video. Please see the link in the description to learn more. I've always been very type A, and so a friend of mine got me into cycling when I was living in LA. And I lived right on the beach in Santa Monica where there's this great bike path in the sand that goes for, I think it's 25 miles in the sand. Uh, 25, no, hold on. Something like that. The exact number doesn't matter. But what I would do is I would go onto the bike path and I would get like head down and push it as hard as I could. I would go all the way to one end of the bike path and back and then back home, and I'd set my little timer when doing this. Huffing and puffing, red face. Yeah, just red face huffing it, but like just pushing it as hard as I can, every single, you know, thrust of the leg. Just... <clears throat> and uh, of course, you know, that made me quite fun if somebody was in my way on the bike path. <laughs> sure, <laughs> that, guy, that guy's got places to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I noticed it was always 43 minutes. I mean, you know, if you know Santa Monica, California, you know the weather is about exactly the same all year round. So unless it was a surprisingly windy day, it was always 43 minutes is what it took me to go as fast as I could for that on that bike path. But I noticed that over time, I was starting to feel less psyched about going out on the bike path. Because just mentally, when I would think of it, it would feel like pain and hard work. <laughs> it sounds like right? pain and hard work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was, but you know, it, I guess at first that was okay. And after a while, I just felt like, oh, I don't know, riding the bike, why don't I just hang out? Um, so then I said, you know, that's no, that's not cool for me to start to associate negative stuff with going on the bike ride. Why don't I just chill for once? Like, I'm just going to go on the same bike ride, but just, you know, I'm not going to be a complete you know, snail, but I'll go at like half of my normal pace. So, yeah, I got on my bike, and it was just pleasant. I just went on the same bike ride, but I was more like ah, standing up, and I just noticed that I was, I was looking around more. And, and I looked out in the ocean, I noticed there was, that day there were these dolphins jumping in the ocean, and, and I went down to Marina Del Rey to my turnaround point. And, um, oh, no, actually, it was when the, the breakers at Marina Del Rey, there was a penguin that was flying above me. I was like, no way. I looked up, I was like, hey, a penguin. And... <laughs> He shit in my mouth. <laughs> was it a penguin or a pelican? Oh, sorry, pelican. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> yes, a flying penguin above my head. That would be more amazing. I was like, what, what did you take before your ride? So, no, you, had, so you had a pelican, <laughs> so sorry, pelican yeah. shit in your mouth. That's incredible accuracy. Was that from like, how far away was it? Uh, like 20 feet up. I wow. Mean, I, guess I, I don't know if he was accurate or I was, you know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So the point is, I, I had such a nice time. It was just purely pleasant. There was no red face. There was no huffing and puffing. I was just cycling. It was nice. And when I got back to my usual stopping place, I looked at my watch and it said 45 minutes. And I was like, no way. How the hell could that have been 45 minutes as compared to my usual 43? It's like, there's no way. But yeah, it was right. 45 minutes. And that was like a profound lesson that I think changed the way I've approached my life ever since. It's because I realized that, I guess, you know, what, what percentage of that huffing and puffing then, we could do the math or whatever, uh, with a 93 point something percent of my huffing and puffing and all that red face and all that stress was only for an extra two minutes. It was basically for nothing. I mean, you know, of course, we're not talking about me competing in something where the huffing and puffing might have been worth it. But for life, I think of all of this optimization and getting the maximum dollar out of everything and the maximum out of every second and the maximum out of every minute. And I think I just take this approach now of going like, or you could just take the lesson, take most of that lesson and apply it and be effective and be happy. You don't need to stress about any of this stuff. And so honestly, that's been my approach ever since. I do things, but I stop before anything gets stressful. I get asked all the time what I would take if I could only take one supplement. The answer is invariably Athletic Greens. I view it as all-in-one nutritional insurance. I recommended it, in fact, in the four-hour body. This is more than 10 years ago, and I did not get paid to do so. With approximately 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, you'd be very hard-pressed to find a more nutrient-dense and comprehensive formula on the market. It has multivitamins, multimineral greens complex, 
probiotics and prebiotics for gut health, an immunity formula, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, and much more. I usually take it once or twice a day just to make sure I've covered my bases if I miss anything I'm not aware of. Of course, I focus on nutrient-dense meals to begin with. That's the basis. But Athletic Greens makes it easy to get a lot of nutrition when whole foods aren't readily available. From travel packets, I always have them in my bag when I'm zipping around. It's also NSF certified for sport, making it safe for competitive athletes, as what's on the label is in the powder. It is the ultimate all-in-one nutritional supplement bundle in one easy scoop. And right now, Athletic Greens is giving my audience, that's you guys, a special offer on top of their all-in-one formula, which is a free vitamin D supplement with your first subscription purchase. Many of us are deficient in vitamin D, which is usually produced in our bodies from sun exposure. So particularly in the winter months, adding a vitamin D supplement to your daily routine is a great option for additional immune support. Make an investment in your health today and try the ultimate all-in-one wellness bundle. Support your immunity, gut health, and energy by visiting athleticgreens.com slash TFS. You'll receive up to a year's supply of vitamin D for free with your first subscription purchase. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash TFS, as in Tim Ferriss show. athleticgreens.com slash TFS.